Hi guys, in this video we will try to learn about the another important concept that is nothing but output from observable and also the output to observable. So what is the difference between these two? So I will try to explain you about this one. So for example, let's say that uh, I will try to remove this entire code. Okay, so that we can have a clear understanding about this one. Oh, sorry. So I am removing this entire code. And here also these all the things are not necessary in our app.component.ts file also so we have added so many components that we are not using it right now so up to here and also the center code is also we are not using it so I will try to clean up this entire thing so that it will be clean and clean here also I will try to remove this entire thing so that you people can able to understand it yeah so this is our code sir, right now <coughs> let's say that for example, let's say that we are having an observable. So name change, name change dollar, okay, is equal to new observable of, and we'll be having an observable. And in this one, uh, what I will try to do, uh, what I will try to do here, this is an observable. And here I will try to use a counter is equal to one and i will use a set interval and for every interval of time for every 2000 second or one second only we'll try to make it and here i will try to emit the object so observer dot next of name change name has been changed and also i will be using uh, counter plus plus so i will use all the time counter plus plus so this is the observable we are having now what we, what I want to do it is I want to send this observable data as an output so that means so that here I can capture it how can I send this one so that means here I need to capture it that in such a way that name change is equal to on name change okay so like this I need to capture it so here dollar event let's say that value will be getting it and here on this name change what I want to do here in the app component.ts file so here I can have a on name change and you will get the value value as a string and you can do whatever the thing you want something like uh, let's console.log of value okay so this is the this is the thing which I want to do it. now if you try to see here in app component so I am trying to get the dollar event so here we need to send the event so here we are right right now we are having an Ob uh, observable so what can I do here so one thing is what we can do it is so I can create a name change is equal to new event emitter of string okay so of string and uh, so we will be having it like this and we need to make it as an output here at the rate output output okay so here we will be maintaining at this one and if you want to send it something like that means you we can do it something like this dot we can do it i think this dot name change dot emit of and we can change it we can send it this one so we can do it in in such a way that something like this okay sorry so we can we one way is something like this we can do it so now if you try to see here in the code if I try to refresh this page, let's try to refresh this page so that we can able to get it or not. Let's try to see it. So we are not able to get it. So this dot name change dot emit and here we are using it on name change. So this one will write name change. So now if I try to check this output for this one, so we are not getting the output. Why? Let's try to see the output. Let's try to see. So we are doing the name change on name change and we are able to consoling the value and here we have created observable and we are trying to emit the value but here what we need to do so in order to get this one so we need to subscribe to this one so that at least one time it will be executed so ng on init and here i can do this dot name change dollar dot subscribe so now i can able to get the value so now here if you try to see name change one name change two three five so some of the values are getting missed so here i can able to get the value oh why because uh, counter plus was two times i am using the counter plus plus but these are all the things is boilerplate. For example, if you are having your own observable, so if you are having an another observable coming from some, some, someone else, so you cannot write this code inside this one, right? So in order to have this one, so we can remove this entire code. Okay, we can remove this entire code and we can use an, 
method that is nothing but output from observable so that means we are trying to create an output from an observable so right now we have an observable and we need to create an output so that means what can i do it here is so name change i can use a variable name change is equal to output output from observable so right now we are not getting it so here i will remove this one so here i need to get it as at the rate angular slash core slash rxjs interoperability so here i can use the something like output from observable and i need to send the observable this dot name change dollar that's it so now if you try to see the output for this one so let's try to see the output so the same output you will be able to get this time but this time so we are able to get so why because this one is coming again counter plus plus i have used the same thing already Let's try to refresh this one again. One three. Oh, why this one is coming again? Let me try to check. Type unknown uh, name change of event. Okay. So here why it is coming is so we need to keep it as a string here. Okay. Hopefully this one will resolve. Yeah, it has been resolved. So it uh, unable to recognize. So now we are able to get the value one two three four. So what we have did it here. So we have did nothing. So what we have did it is so here we have used an observable so that means you have an any observable so if you are getting any observable from anywhere so if you are getting an any observable so if you want to convert that observable into an output means so you can use an output from observable and here you are getting an so non change event right so this is an output right so we have an another handy method that is nothing but output to observable so that means so whatever the output you are getting it here so you can convert it to an observable in the app component.ts file so how we can convert this one so let's try to show you i will try to show you so let's say that i am I, I want to convert into an observable here so here let's say i will use the same name change dollar here okay so name change dollar it is of type observable of string okay now what i want to do so this is an observable of string so what i want to do it is so here i need to capture this computer signal i need to convert whatever the output value hi, coming here i need to convert into an uh, observable the output value i want to convert into an observable so that for that one what i what i can do is i can take it here uh, sorry i can have a view child here computed signal okay so now let's try to go here in this one so now there is no need for this one all so here you can have a view child view child of and here you can have a computed signal and this is of type this is of type computed signal component or null is equal to null so like this you can have it and here you need to provide the same thing as a name here okay so now we got this one so now when this one is initialized mg after view in it okay when this one is initialized so now if this dot computer signal is there so this one is for safety purpose now what can you do so this is our name change all right this dot name change dollar Okay, sorry this dot name change dollar is equal to output okay we, we will be getting an output so you need to convert into an observable and you need to send i need to give the observable that observable is nothing but this dot computer signal dot uh, name change so this one so this is the output you are getting it from the component that is nothing but here in this one this one is the output from observable so this is the output you are getting it and you need to convert into an observable here yeah, like this you need to convert it so that's it so this dot name change dollar output observe now this has been converted now whatever the thing you will be having name change dollar here so here you can use it something like do and here you can write it something like sorry name change dollar to async so whatever the value you are getting it here in this one the output value so now you will be able to receive the same value so if I, yeah here you will be able to receive the same value this is how we will be implementing the output from observable and output to observable simple thing you need to understand simple thing output from observable means so you are having an observable of data and you want to send it as an output event emitter to the component parent component means then you will need to use the output from observable it is a handy utility function and you are having for example let's say that you are having a pay component here and this component is receiving an event emitting data and you want to convert that event emitting data into an observable then you need to use the output to observable that's it so this is a simple thing only so this is how we will be using the output from observable and also an output to observable 
Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.